Andre Agapov, the uh, CEO of uh, the Agapov Group, and uh, we're basically asking what is the situation now? Situation in uh, Venezuela. Well, as you know, uh, April 30th, uh, Central Bank of Venezuela uh, issued a new resolution regarding the sale of gold. Uh, essentially, it's a uh, uh, upgrade of the old resolution. The old one states that 20% of all the gold sales by gold producers in Venezuela should be offered to Central Bank of Venezuela for sale. And uh, the new resolution calls for increase from 20% to 60% of total gold sales to be offered to the Central Bank. Um, I guess it's a function of price uh, at that particular time and uh, we will be offering to Central Bank on the same uh, on the similar terms as we're offering our gold every time we sell it to register the uh, local uh, buyers. Yes, but uh, some people may see this as a retrograde step on the part of the Venezuelan government that they're trying to grab the gold. No, this is not the case at all. Uh, essentially what uh, Central Bank is trying to do is trying to uh, better monitor the way gold is being sold and uh, everyone has to understand that at the moment in Venezuela there are only two uh, gold producers, uh, Rusoro being um, a Russian public company and uh, Minerven which is a government entity. Uh, more or less we're producing similar size uh, of uh, you know, gold on a monthly basis and uh, if, if Central Bank would like to buy more gold and uh, increase their gold reserve, uh, I think it's, it's, it's a great idea. But uh, basically your money is stuck in Venezuela, isn't it? Well, uh, every time we sell gold to register buyers, we sell it in the local currency. And uh, uh, we have a very large uh, capital expenditure program for 2009 and uh, several years more to come. So essentially all, all, all funds are being reinvested and of course you know, we have to cover the cost of uh, you know, production of, of gold. Uh, for this year we're planning to produce between 175 to 195,000 ounces at the average cash cost between 320 and 350 dollars per ounce. Uh, our capital uh, expenditure program for the next 24 months is roughly uh, 60 to 65 million dollars. So uh, we will need all the revenue to be reinvested and of course uh, our social programs uh, that we're committed to uh, also require some funding. So uh, Bolivar's well spent and well invested. Mm. Uh, looking at the overall situation, okay, there seems to be a kind of impasse. Uh, I believe Rosoro has failed in its attempt to take over gold reserve, uh, but is it completely off the table? And what about Crystal X International? Well, with respect to gold reserve, uh, I shouldn't call it a failure. We made our attempt. We uh, delivered our message to a shareholder of gold reserve. Uh, management didn't see uh, Rosoro to be a perfect fit in gold reserve Rosoro combination, so it's their decision their management decision not to uh, work with us. Uh, I guess the time will tell if that was the right decision or not. Uh, with respect to uh, Las Cristinas, uh, I'm sure management of Las Cristinas, of Crystal X, I should say, will make the right decision. And uh, this year, in 2009, uh, either by themselves or uh, in conjunction with the government entity or any other gold miner, uh, I'm sure they will reach some sort of uh, agreement with Ministry of Mines and uh, move forward. Okay, you're constantly uh, in touch with uh, Venezuelan uh, authorities. Uh, Crystal X say that they are also in daily contact with uh, the authorities. What sort of message are you getting from them? Uh, with the uh, Venezuelan authorities? Yeah. Well, at the moment, uh, there is no messages. Uh, of course, the Venezuelan government would like uh, Las Cristinas and Las Brisas to be de developed as soon as possible. Uh, I am sure we will hear very shortly from Minister of Mines or from the President himself uh, how they would like to do it. And uh, we're all waiting for their decision.